Hey guys, what's up? This is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. All right, guys, today we're going to be dealing with allowable pipe fill for nipples that are 24 inches and less. So here's the scenario. We've got a panel or a junction box right beside it. We're getting ready to set another panel or a junction box or whatever, right? And we got a short nipple, and it's under 24 inches. So is pipe fill a consideration? Do we even have to think about it? What's the score? Well, let's go ahead and head to Chapter 9. And right there at the beginning of Chapter 9, there's going to be some notes right under Table 1. And one of those notes is going to cover the pipe fill for nipples that are 24 inches or less so I've got a short stub in between two cans how much can I fill it the code book states that we're allowed to fill it up to 60 percent well that sounds great I mean you know when you look at a pipe and you look at it uh, you know you, you may be better than I am but I can't look at a pipe and tell you how much 60 percent is thankfully the code book has taken care of that for us so in order to do this it's a two-part process right so first we're going to start with chapter 9 table floor four we're going to flip over a page in the code book and it's going to start into chapter 9 table four now that's a very cool set of tables if you've never seen it before it covers pretty much every type of conduit or raceway and what it's going to do is tell you the allowable fill. It'll tell you the allowable fill of 100%, of 60%, of 40%, respectively, depending on what area you're in. So in this case, we're dealing with 60%. So let's start right here at EMT. So let's go over and let's find EMT. It's the first one. If you read across the top of that black bolt heading, it lets you know that this is the fill percentage and uh, you know information for EMT. Then we're going to find where it says 60%. And then we go down and we tee off with our size conduit. And I have a video teaching you and you know lessons teaching you all about how to do pipe fill but today, today we're talking about you know just nipple sizing so let's do the half inch so let's go half inch pipe let's go over to 60% fill and that lets us know the available fill volume in approximate inches squared of that pipe well that sounds good now that we know what the approximate you know area is how do we figure out per conductor well that's a great question and that's the second part of our process we're actually going to flip on over to chapter 9 table 5 and that's going to be our conductor properties and what we're going to do there is we're going to locate our insulation type and our conductor size and then we are going to come down in the second part over where it says approximate area and we're going to find the approximate area of each conductor that we're filling you know dealing with you know in this fill volume and what we're going to do is we're going to head back over to chapter 9 table 4 we're going to select our total available area of the 60 percent then you'll actually take your conductor and divide its area that it takes up up into the available area of the pipe so it's pretty simple right we're allowed to fill up to 60 percent that's the way to figure it out this is kind of a complex subject i just wanted to touch on it today and let you know how much you can fill you know a common uh misnomer in the field field is that you can fill it 100 percent oh if it's a short nipple you can stuff it full well the code book says that we've got to fill it 60 percent i hope you guys have a great day stay safe out there keep fighting the good fight and let's get to it hey guys i just want to remind you that i offer free coaching for anyone who needs help in life or business if you just want to email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com let's get to it